How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going round. So sit back, relax and enjoy. YouTuber Chimpanity Films thought it would be fun to bring along a camera and capture some behind the scenes shots of the cast and crew while shooting a student film at the Metropolitan State Mental Hospital in Norwalk, California. According to the video's description, those involved in the production had already been hearing strange noises. However, it wasn't until the YouTuber reviewed their footage sometime later that they realised they might have captured a ghost on camera. About two and a half minutes into the video, a group of crew members are finishing a scene from the film. The clip then cuts to an empty hallway where a pale ghostly figure can be seen walking from one side to the other. While its features are blurry and unclear, it certainly does look like a transparent person. The figure wanders across the hallway and disappears through a doorway just as several crew members come into view. They jog past and never seem to notice its presence. Who or what could this figure have been? The ghost of a deceased patient perhaps? Or was it simply the work of a clever editor? Sadly, without further information, we may never learn the truth behind this creepy video. Our last clip was uploaded to TikTok by Lucy on the Rocks. Lucy's a healthcare worker who believes the emergency ward of the hospital she works in is haunted. Here's some security footage taken from the ward at 5am. Watching that again, the curtain at the rear of the room begins moving. The strange activity even catches the eye of several workers behind the desk. What the hell? Lucy claims there's no air vents nearby and certainly nobody around that could have touched the curtain. Several other healthcare workers commented on the footage claiming that they too believe their hospital is haunted. One comment in particular said that a little girl often appears in their ward when someone is about to pass away. A lot of viewers agreed that it might be the spirit of someone that's passed away in the hospital. But as always, I'll throw this one out to you the viewers. What do you think's been captured here? Share your theories with the community down below. What the hell? from one haunted hospital to another. This next piece of startling footage has left internet users confused and frightened as it appears to show a security guard interacting with a ghost. Take a look. The footage was captured inside of the Sanatorio Finiquieto, a private medical clinic in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The eerie encounter took place on the 11th of November at 3.26am. At the beginning of the clip, you can see the door open, but no one comes into the building. The security guard stands up and checks his clipboard as though preparing for someone to enter the facility. He releases the band at the checkpoint, then appears to chat with someone as though a normal person were entering the building. He makes a few gestures as though directing the person further into the facility. He then appears to offer a wheelchair to the invisible presence.
A spokesperson for the healthcare provider said that they had already logged the main entrance door as malfunctioning, stating that it had opened by itself 28 times in the span of 10 hours. However, they found the security guard's behaviour a little harder to explain. They said that the guard appears to write something onto the register, but no names were recorded in the system during that period. A rumour proliferated that the guard wrote the name of a patient who had died the day before, but this claim is yet unsubstantiated. After the clip went viral, two main theories prevailed. The first being that the guard might be playing a prank on his colleague in the security office who would have been watching the video feed during the night. It's possible he just acted the whole scenario out to spook his workmates during a slow night shift. The second theory, however, is a little more chilling. This theory suggests that the guard did indeed see someone come into the building and that he was interacting with a patient that had died the previous day. So what do you think? The footage is certainly unsettling, but could it all just be a prank? Let me know where you land on this mysterious piece of footage in the comments down below. This next video was uploaded to Reddit by OddExplorer2735. It features what some think might be paranormal activity at a nursing facility somewhere in San Diego. The clip was supposedly captured by a co-worker of the poster while they were on a late night break. They noticed some odd movement nearby and, as they were already on their phone, decided to take a video. Watch. As you can see, several translucent shapes pass by the light in quick succession. According to the poster, the staff at this particular facility believe it to be haunted. As paranormal activity is thought to be common at many medical facilities, several viewers thought that these figures had to be ghosts. However, a few keen-eyed viewers thought that the shapes were just water from a sprinkler system. This certainly seems possible, and if you watch the clip again with that in mind, seems like it could actually be the case. Unfortunately, the quality of the video is too low for viewers to come to any definitive conclusion. So what's your opinion? Was this a genuine paranormal encounter, or has this mystery been debunked as little more than water coming from a sprinkler? There have been countless ghost sightings in hospitals over the years. Hospitals see more than their fair share of death, so this is hardly surprising. TikToker Parasomnia MX has uploaded a clip that shows some potentially supernatural activity in a dark hospital wing late one night. The footage was shot at the hospital de Tlahuac in Mexico City, Mexico. The rooms of the hospital are dark and unoccupied, possibly suggesting that the video was recorded late at night when the hospital has minimal activity. The exact location where the video takes place is unclear, but some of the setup in the room suggests that it could be part of the morgue. As the person behind the camera pans around the room, something eerie happens. No mind. As you can see, a cart begins to slowly roll across the room. Okay, the cart contains a few pieces of medical equipment, but is otherwise bare. We can clearly see that there's no one else around who could have been pushing or pulling the cart across the room. The TikToker continues exploring the area, searching for additional signs of activity. Nothing else happens, but the survey of the room allows us to clearly see the room is empty. With no one else in the room, who or what could have pushed the medical card across the room? Viewers have suggested that it could be the spirit of someone who died in this very room. Paranormal experts believe that spirits can linger near the places where they've lived out their final moments on Earth. Other viewers believe that the card could have been pulled using some string, perhaps by an accomplice who's very good at hiding. No worries. As always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. What do you think's happening in this mysterious piece of footage?
uploaded to Rice of E4's YouTube channel in September 2012, this footage, taken from several surveillance cameras at a nursing home, shows something very chilling indeed. On one camera feed, we can see an object suddenly appear near the arm of one of the chairs. Oddly, there's no break or glitch in the video feed, which tends to suggest that the video footage has not been edited in any way. According to several viewers, they believe that the object looks like a cane, one that possibly belonged to a deceased resident of the nursing home who might be still lingering there in the afterlife. Just moments after the cane appears near the chair, it suddenly flies out of the room, and its movement is captured by a different camera as it lands on the floor near an elevator. Boom. And then... Many staff members, residents and guests seem to pass by without even noticing it. Eventually, someone picks it up and leans it against the wall. Then, shortly after two people are seen getting into the elevator, the cane mysteriously disappears, just as suddenly as it appeared, blinking out of existence without a trace. Gone. This is certainly a very strange video and one that can't easily be explained. What could be responsible for the cane's bizarre movements? Could it be the result of something supernatural? Or is there something else going on here? Love to hear what you think about this mysterious piece of footage in the comments section below. YouTuber Clip Huntu is well known for his explorations of abandoned buildings. In this particular video, he enters an old, allegedly haunted hospital. As soon as he steps inside, it becomes apparent that this place has seen better days. The furniture is covered in dust, the windows are cracked and rubble is strewn across the floor. The state of the building itself makes this investigation even creepier. Not long into his exploration, the YouTuber catches something rather chilling on camera. Take a look. An old rusty wheelchair slowly wheels into view as if it's been pushed by some sort of unseen force. Bravely, the YouTuber approaches for a closer look. It doesn't appear to have any strings or wires attached to it. It seems as though it moved all by itself. Next, the YouTuber explores an area outside the building. As he moves down a darkened walkway, he notices something up ahead. Keen-eyed viewers might be able to spot a mysterious figure lurking in the darkness. However, as the explorer approaches the area, the figure seems to slink away. The explorer searches for the figure, but is unable to find it anywhere. Next, his investigation leads him to an area with what appears to be an old hospital gurney. As he examines it, keep your eye on the back end of the corridor. What could this figure possibly be? The YouTuber suggests it might actually be the ghostly feet of a doctor with no body. Somehow, the explorer keeps going and soon enters another room. He cautiously opens the door. However, a few seconds later, he becomes visibly spooked by something and turns around just in time for us to see the door close behind him. At this point, it seems that this is all the YouTuber can take and the video ends. As you can imagine, ever since this video was uploaded to YouTube, viewers have discussed what they think this explorer has managed to capture on camera. Was it paranormal, or was it something else entirely? It seems that no harm was done to the explorer at any point during the night, 
But who knows, maybe if he stayed a little while longer, he wouldn't have been so lucky. With all the death and sickness hospitals see, it's no wonder many people claim that they're heavily haunted. Healthcare workers often comment on our videos saying that they've seen some really eerie things in the hospitals they work in. This next clip seems to back up these claims. Reddit user Board Guy Online wants to keep the location of this hospital private for the sake of keeping his job. He says the security guard he works with often spots strange things while doing his rounds at night time. The guard would see mysterious things so often he thought he was losing his mind. That's when he dared his fellow workmate to take a walk around at night time and film what he sees. The OP did end up walking around the hospital at night time while filming. While he thought it was unnerving, nothing particularly strange seemed to happen, or so he thought. Upon reviewing the footage, one segment stood out. Take a look. Watching that again slowed down at the end of one of the hallways, a dark figure peeks out from around the corner. The Redditor claims that this part of the hospital isn't in use. It's late at night and no one else is around. So what's to be made of this eerie sighting? After seeing the footage, a lot of Reddit users shared their own experiences in other hospitals. A lot of comments described very similar sightings, shadowy, almost transparent figures lurking out the corner of their eyes. Sometimes called shadow people, this bizarre phenomenon has been reported all around the world. Often people who suffer from sleep paralysis or insomnia report encounters with dark beings that stare at them from the corner of the room. Time and time again, witnesses will describe almost the exact same experience. So is this sighting a genuine shadow person, or is there another way to explain what's happening here? Unless more info comes to hand, it's likely we'll never know for certain what was lurking down this hospital's hallway. This next one was captured by the CCTV security system inside of the Felix Bulnes Hospital in Santiago, Chile. It was uploaded to the Instagram account Paranormal Carlos Martinez for all to see. While initially it looks like the patient is having a panic attack, at one point it looks like his leg gets dragged by some sort of unseen force. Here it is in slow motion. The nurse on call comes to the aid of the patient, then the clip abruptly ends. One commenter said that they too had had an eerie encounter in the same hospital. While walking through one of the unused wards on the property, they said they heard disembodied whispers and laughter. There was no one else around and they couldn't explain where the noises were coming from. To back up these claims, a separate piece of footage surfaced from the hospital. This time it was captured in an old disused wing. Take a look. an eerie voice can be heard. Then suddenly, this happens. Something rushes by at the end of the darkened corridor. Looks to be some kind of object thrown against the wall. So is this old hospital in Chile really haunted? 
Given the first-hand accounts and the separate pieces of video evidence, it certainly does make you wonder whether the souls of former patients might be lingering on the property. A couple of weeks ago we featured some bizarre footage from TikToker jmaleo165. It was a clip taken from a security feed at a hospital. Here's a recap. Eerily, the machines seem to move about all on their own. Well now, the TikToker has yet more mysterious footage captured in the same hospital. This time we see a hallway. A few doctors and nurses go about their business as the camera rolls. Everything looks fairly normal until this happens. A cart full of hospital supplies suddenly begins rolling down the hall on its own. <laughs> at least one person stops in her tracks and stares at the cart in disbelief, suggesting that it wasn't pushed by human hands. Some viewers are skeptical of this follow-up footage as we don't actually see the cart in full view. Some believe someone could have simply pushed it off camera, making it look as though it moves on its own. However, the nurse's reaction does throw this theory into doubt. A recurring theory in the comments section of both clips suggests that because these events happened at a hospital, we're actually seeing residual energy from those who have died here perhaps trapped spirits that haven't been able to pass over to the afterlife. Most likely, the number of people who have died in this building is too high to count, so we may never know which of these unfortunate souls could be causing this movement after death. <laughs> One of our viewers, David C, works at a hospital that he wants to remain undisclosed in the south of Yorkshire. He works as part of the security team at the health facility. One morning, several years ago, David found one of the security doors wide open. He was certain they should have been closed and locked because he and his team had done so at 10pm the night before. Concerned, the security team reviewed the internal CCTV footage that was captured the night before. That's when they spotted something they can't quite explain. Take a look. At 1.49am in the morning, the doors open by themselves. Then the light in the room flicks on. What's particularly eerie about this footage is that at either end of the corridor are security doors that require swipe card access. There are no employees seen swiping in or out anywhere near the time these doors mysteriously opened up. David says that the way these doors work is that the small door bolts into the larger door which is locked by key. When he found the doors open, the bolt on the smaller door had slid open but the larger door remained locked. So somehow the bolts moved but the door remained locked. To back up this eerie sighting, the hospital has a long and freaky past. The property once served as a workhouse and children's hospital. For years, security staff have reported strange happenings along the long dark hallways of the buildings. They regularly claim to see spirits or ghosts lingering around the property. One in particular is said to be the old matron of the children's hospital. 
Her spirit, along with several other ghostly children, have allegedly been spotted walking waist deep in the now raised floorboards of one of the wings. So what opened the security doors then? No one swiped in or out and it's nearly 2am in the morning. Could the haunted stories be true then? Perhaps this old hospital really is plagued by the spirits of its former patients. This photo, uploaded to Reddit by user ToothyGrin19135, was taken at the allegedly haunted Penhurst Asylum in Spring City, Pennsylvania. When in operation, the facility was known for its brutal conditions and harsh treatment of its patients. It doesn't seem surprising then that many people who have visited the asylum have had eerie experiences. This image was captured in the Mayflower Building. In it, we see a young man sitting in an old chair with a mysterious black shape just above his head. It's unclear what the shape is exactly, however, it's been suggested that it resembles a ghostly figure in a dark cloak. Nowadays, part of the facility operates as a haunted house attraction, and after seeing this post, another Redditor who once worked there as a scare actor shared some of their own experiences. According to them, the staff members would often see shadowy figures moving in the windows of the upper levels, in areas that were badly run down and had no floors. They also claim to have personally witnessed a wheelchair moving all on its own. The former employee went on to note that in one particular area of the asylum, the security staff would only work for 15 minutes at a time, because an intense presence in the area would allegedly start giving them panic attacks. So could this photo perhaps show the spirit of a former patient at the Penhurst Asylum? Take another look and tell us what you think. Letchworth Village is an abandoned asylum on the outskirts of Rockland County, New York. It's infamous among the urban explorer community as many believe it to be infested with a dark paranormal energy. Opened in 1911, Letchworth Village was a sprawling residential institution that housed physically and mentally ill patients from young to elderly. At its peak, it had over 130 buildings across thousands of acres of land. Even as far back as the 1920s, however, reports circulated that the residents were being neglected and abused. Patients were found unwashed and naked, left unattended and tormented. There was even abuse reported among co-workers. Before long, dormitories and makeshift sleeping quarters were left overcrowded and run down. Patients who died at the facility and weren't claimed by family were buried in a clearing behind a wooded area about a mile from the hospital. Steel, T-shaped markers with patient ID numbers were all that were left behind to remember those who died at Letchworth. After numerous reports of terrible living conditions and neglect came to light, the facility was eventually closed in 1996. With this awful history, it's little wonder that the property is notorious for being haunted. Left to the mercy of vandals and bad weather, the property is now derelict and overgrown. Knowing its history, YouTuber and urban explorer Chasing the Darkness Paranormal decides to visit the infamous Letchworth Village. And I'm ready to do an investigation because I have my tablet as well, and I'm going to use my Phasma box. This occasion right here, I've been to this one a long time ago. He opens the video by saying that the property's recently been further damaged by fire. Anyway, so I've been to this occasion here before it got burned. The story here is was that there was a bunch of kids that was hanging out here and burned the place down. Luckily, I've been to this location before it burned down. But this right here, I came in with my boy. And to be honest with you, I don't know something about this location here that if I go to the, to the back side, you still could go inside and investigate, right? But this place right here, the first time I came here, uh, me and my boy came down here, we went to the basement, and we said like, I don't know, it was kind of weird. We didn't do no investigation, we just came to explore. And we, we just heard like, like noises, we heard, like, uh, I swear I saw a shadow. As he moves through the darkened rooms of the old facility, its condition becomes obvious. Hello? See, this right here looks suspicious here. Anybody here? Okay. Before long, the YouTuber hears some strange noises nearby. 
They need to put the same little higher. And this one here. Hello, anybody here? I heard a voice here. Are you okay? Hello? Hello? In order to try and connect with the rumoured paranormal energy inside the building, the YouTuber sets up a Phasma Box, a device used by some investigators to communicate with spirits. What's your name? The schedule. The schedule? What do you mean by schedule? Okay, now you're talking, if okay, okay. It doesn't take long for something truly terrifying to happen. Take a look. Watching that again, the device begins to recite a prayer. <laughs> then suddenly, what sounds like fast running footsteps can be heard. Here's the incident captured from a second stationary camera. Hello? Understandably, this encounter becomes too much for the YouTuber, who decides to leave the property immediately. Who was that running? Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. So is Letchworth Village really haunted? Given the atrocities that have taken place on the property, the enormous burial ground, the haunting reports, and now this eerie footage, it certainly does make you wonder whether the tormented spirits of the former patients are lingering on, perhaps trying to make contact, seeking help for their eternal suffering. Hello? Our first clip of the day was uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal, with some freaky footage captured inside of an unknown hospital. Take a look. Andate la mierda. As you can see, the wheelchair appears to move all by itself. Naturally, this eerie video has gone viral on Twitter with loads of comments pouring in trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. One commenter noted that you can clearly see the wheelchair's reflection on the polished floor, but there doesn't appear to be a shadow of a string or wire that could be making the chair move. With all the death and suffering that hospitals see, many paranormal experts believe that spirits often linger on in these places because of the trauma experienced prior to death. It's as though their souls are tethered to the site and can't properly cross over to the afterlife. In hospitals all around the world, nurses often report strange and creepy experiences while on shift. From unexplainable noises to outright paranormal activity, many nurses have experienced things that can't be explained. But is this a common experience? A quick survey of nursing forums and message boards reveals that many nurses have indeed had some sort of paranormal experience while on the job. 
Whether it's hearing strange noises, seeing apparitions, or feeling an unexplained presence, these experiences seem to be fairly common. We often get comments on our videos from healthcare providers saying they've experienced things while on the job that they can't quite explain. So is this footage evidence that hospitals really are a magnet for paranormal energy? Do the souls of those who die there linger on not knowing they've really passed away? Drop your theories on this down below. Also, if you're a healthcare worker, share your stories and let us know if you've experienced anything paranormal. In this clip, we see several people visiting a friend in hospital. As they casually chat, one of them appears to call the camera person closer. As they do, the camera moves around, inadvertently capturing something rather chilling in the background. Take a look and see if you can spot what it is. It's very easy to miss, but if you slow the footage down, you can clearly see the head of a small figure peeking out from behind the bed. Strangely, nobody seems to notice the mysterious figure before the clip ends. If you take a good look, you can see that it appears to have a rather unusual face. It has dark hair, large eyes and an oddly shaped nose. The strange thing about this video is that the room the group is in looks rather small, meaning it would be very difficult for someone to be hiding. So then, could this figure actually be some sort of paranormal entity? Spending the time in hospital is already an unpleasant experience without the thought that you could be sharing a room with a spirit. Now, if you enjoy these longer episodes, then check out our previous compilations. There's one right there. Otherwise, you can binge on our giant paranormal playlists right here as well. Now leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love getting your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 